they are going to be calling you the tri-tipped triceratops after this one. Welcome back to Self Built. Today is another landmine workout exercise. This one is all about triceps. This one is a little bit tricky because it's not just using free weights. I'm going to be incorporating free weights and cables and I'm going to be changing up the way that you hold the landmine too. There's going to be a lot of different variations with this that I'm going to go through and for building arms, triceps is two thirds of the arm. So if you're wanting to get bigger arms, focusing on the triceps is a good idea. With these landmine exercises, your triceps are going to literally explode. So let's get into the first one. Here's the first setup for this tricep exercise. This is gonna be a type of a close grip press, except it's gonna be going a little bit into an upright angle as opposed to doing like a normal flat bench press. There's a couple tips I'm gonna involve with this. First one, when you're doing a lot of weight, and you're trying to make it so the grip's a little bit thicker and more comfortable. Just throw a one inch pipe on that bad boy. You can really focus in. You just wanna focus on using your triceps for this, not so much shoulders or chest. Just do the best that you can. And then, if you wanna fatten it up a little bit more and you've got a two inch pipe laying around, just slide that bad boy on. And when it's this width, it's just so much more comfortable you're just able to have a much better hand grip. It's not gonna slip because I would find that my thumbs and my palms wouldn't really be able to grab very well when you start to add a little bit more weight. So this just makes it a lot easier and helps you have more control and be able to throw on a little bit more weight. This one's definitely a fun one to try out. It's a great way to warm up the elbows. Next setup we got on the list, we're gonna double our fun with two landmines. This one I'm gonna be attaching cables to it too. And how I do that is I just attach a little bit of longer chain length to it to hook up to the barbells. Just gives you a really nice angle. So once you walk in, you're able to just press straight down. It's almost like a seated dip, but you're standing obviously. And this one just feels really nice. You can play with the angle a little bit. I'm demonstrating this version, but if you want to switch around, it's actually a little bit more comfortable on the hands and it just feels a little bit better. This does add a little bit of stability aspect to it too. So it does add that. You can, I like to have it just close grip as far as the bars almost riding down the sides of my waist. Just feels really good and you can just really control and put a little bit of weight on there. Feels pretty nice. And as always, got to upgrade it, throw some one inch pipes on there. When you start to put so much weight on your palm, it just starts to have those threads dig into your hand. It doesn't feel very great. And with this, not only does it stop that, but it also makes the grip a little bit fatter, just easier to hang on to. So a little pro tip for you, you can always keep some one inch pipes laying around. And of course, we do need to modify it one step further. I'm gonna be using one of my classic pieces of equipment, just a two by four with some holes drilled in it. This is really nice because it'll hold those bars at a wider grip, help you hit the triceps a little bit different, take some of the stability out, and it's just a really nice way to change it up. Just be careful you don't use the wood and hit your butt with it. But overall, this is one of my favorite variations of this. And then next, of course, we're just gonna take that piece of wood away and put the pipe on there. And then you can turn this into just a single arm tricep press down. This one feels really nice. I do use one side for each arm, just the way that it pulls against the cable. It just feels more natural to do it one arm for one side and one for the other. But if you're only limited to one, 
then definitely do whatever you got to do. I thank you guys for watching this and some tips and tricks. I'd love to hear any comments and thoughts that you have. And don't forget to punch in our ticket on that game train. And we'll see you next time on Morshav Build.